In this video, we'll cover removing devices and projects. The provisioning device, such as an iPad, will need to be within range of the devices we wish to remove. It is important that you do not remove a project or floor without first removing the devices. Otherwise, you'll have to physically reset the devices. See the product's installation instructions on how to physically reset the devices. I'll go ahead and enter the project, then the floor, and then the zone of the devices we wish to remove. The top device is the GAT proxy. What this means, this device is physically communicating with the provisioning device, such as an iPad. The device acting as a proxy cannot be removed unless there's another proxy in the network. I'll go ahead and try to remove it as an example. The system will display an error showing that it cannot be removed unless there's another proxy in the network, or there are no other devices left in the network. If we wish to remove this device from the network, we'll first have to enable another device to act as a GAT proxy. I'll go ahead and select the bottom device and then enable the GAT proxy function. Now going back to the top device, as there is more than one GAT proxy in the network, the top device can be removed. I'll go ahead and remove this device from the network. The provisioning device is now connecting to a new device as a GAT proxy. Since this is still the only proxy in the network and there are other devices in the network, this device cannot be removed until either the other device is removed or there's another GAT proxy in the network. We'll go ahead to the top device. As this device is configured to listen to the Inotion switch, once it is removed from the network, the Inotion switch will no longer function. We'll have to enable the Inotion switch on the other device once this device is removed. I'll go ahead and select Remove. At this stage, the luminaire will begin to flash to indicate whether it's the correct luminaire or not. And since it is, I'll go ahead and hit Remove. Now we have one device left in the zone. If we wish to leave this device remaining, we can configure it to work with the Inotion switch. At this stage, there's only one device remaining in the zone, and it'll work properly with the Inotion switch. We can either add new devices to the zone, but for this example, I'll go ahead and remove it so that we can delete this project. This device is still acting as a GAT proxy. However, since there are no other devices in this network, we can go ahead and remove it. This zone no longer has any devices associated with it. We'll go back to our project view. As there are no more devices associated with this project, we can go ahead and remove it. As we've already removed the individual devices from this project, there will be no need to manually reset them. This concludes removing devices and projects. For more videos about the Elite Blue commissioning tools, please visit fulham.com forward slash videos forward slash Elite Blue.